Hey guys, well, um, recently you've noticed that there's a big variation in the content um, that I put on the Facebook page, uh, and that's mainly because I've tried to listen to you guys, tried to understand a little bit more about um, the variation of information that you'd like to, to learn uh, from me. One of the big areas that I get emails about from people is to do with psychology and why I post so much about psychology, why I, uh, I post so much about the mind and fat loss. Um, and uh, to me, it's the fundamental key part of transforming, um, of losing body fat, uh, of improving muscle mass, and, and in physique development in general. Um, you've only got to look at uh, you know the people that you're inspired by on a day-to-day -day basis, and these will be... Uh, bodybuilders, uh, male and female fitness models in, that you see in magazines or on the social media sites, um, right through to professional athletes, whether it be a rugby that you follow or premiership football or you know any other sport. These people you're inspired by. Now, you're not just inspired by their physique. You're not just inspired by their um, athleticism. You're inspired by them as a person. Their relentless pursuit of perfection, their relentless pursuit of success. It may be someone in business, and certainly, you know, you're not being inspired by their physique because you never see it. So, what is it that you're inspired by? Their success. Um, you know, if it's if it's a bodybuilder, a fitness model, right through to a businessman, they're successful in their own right. But it's it's their mind that's made them successful. It's their mind that they've channeled and used to their advantage in the development of who they are and the end goal that they have. So, you know, you're the person that's either contacting myself, you're either working with another coach, um, you know, and you follow this page because you're interested in developing your physique. But so many of you um, kind of switch off from the fact that it's you that's the person that's limiting your results and your goals. You're working with a coach. You're working with a, a personal trainer. And this person could have the best knowledge out there um, and some of the best results, yet you're the one that's not achieving the results. I always say to every single person that meets me, it's never us that fails you. It's you. And the reason being is that we do what we do day in, day out. We've been doing it for years and years and years and years. And we've come across near enough every scenario. And the limiting factor in many, many cases is the fact that the person that we're working with is unable to stick to the plan. They're unable to um, ensure that they have everything around them at home uh, and in place, socially, family, uh, you know, um, to, to allow them to adapt into the, the, this new person that they need to be. Um, you can't expect to change your body without changing you. You can do it for a short period of time. If you're gonna, if you want to be the type of person that gets very, very lean and then very, very fat and then very, very lean and very, very fat, whilst limiting yourself from a, from a social perspective for eight to twelve weeks, while you do a kind of mini prep, you get really lean, you have a photo shoot, or do whatever you want to do. You go on holiday, and then afterwards you just settle straight back into drinking, eating rubbish, and socializing with your, your friends. Um, uh, you know, and, and damaging your physique. Um, that'd be my guess, but. You know, these people that you're inspired by on the internet, these people that, um, that, that, that speak so openly about their success mentally and their, with their physique, you know, these people live it. Your problem is that you don't live it. Um, and so, you know, there are so many factors that go into um, ensuring that you, you have the body of your dreams long term. So, you know, when you are on the internet and you're looking at these physiques you're inspired by, one little tip from me is to try and understand, try and watch, try and read a little bit more into uh, into kind of their mannerisms. You know, the, the stuff that they're saying on the motivational videos. You know, these are these are the clues for you as to how you can consistently keep your physique. You know, they're not. You know, most of the people that you follow in terms of either motivational bodybuilders, physique, fitness athletes. They've been where you've been at some point, I guarantee it. But the reason why they're successful now is because they've learned about themselves along the way. They've had failures, you know, all of us. 
me included, have done many, many, many things wrong. Um, but it's those, it's those kind of mini failures or errors or faults that you've made that you've learned from. So every time you've learned, you know, you, you've rebounded from fat loss and you've gained your body fat back, um, or you've been on holiday after you've been in shape and put all your weight back on, how many of you actually stop and think, what, what are the habits, what are the psychological skills that I seem to have lost that I had while I was doing the fat loss um, that, uh, you know, that seemed to have disappeared and allowed me to fall straight back into my old habits? Not many of you actually start to look inwardly and realize and try and understand exactly what it is that you're doing wrong. So you have these peaks and troughs. Whereas the people you're inspired by on the internet and the people that bodybuilders, physique athletes, professional um, athletes in different sports, um, you know, uh, strength coaches, personal trainers, people that stay in shape, people that put a lot of information out there, these are the people that you're watching on a day to day basis. And you're watching their results and you're going, I love their physique, I love their, their, you know, uh, their, their commitment to do all this. But you're not applying any of what they're actually saying to you to your own life. So it's not something that you're going to be able to live consistently with. So, you know, I give you this example, you know, people that go on the internet in the morning and post up, uh, I watched this video on a Monday morning, this motivational video, um, I'm following this guy for his motivational, uh, motivational information. And then you look at your own life and you think you've adapted none of what you've been learning over the last six months, year, even two years. I've seen people post week after week after week that they, that they follow inspirational speakers and motivational athletes, but their life hasn't changed at all. And I tell you what, their physique hasn't changed at all. So what you're finding with this motivational stuff on, uh, on social media, on the internet, is you know if you really want to benefit from it, Learn to apply what's being taught to you to your own life. So don't just you know look at these physiques and think, oh, I want that. They're, they're actually sharing information with you that's very, very valuable. And I'm actually sharing information with you right now that's very, very valuable towards you know, your body changing. Um, you know, I said a, a few minutes ago, working with a, working with your own personal trainer, strength coach, body composition, physique coach, you know, and failing. You know, these people are giving you tools. They're actually the person that you can learn a lot from about how they live their life, how they prepare their food, how what they do socially. You know, they're not living this way uh, out of out of force. You know, it's it's something that comes natural to them. But you have to practice this on a on a day to day basis. So, you know, psychology when it comes to fat loss and muscle building is is the is the foundation of many 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 of the people you see in phenomenal shape you know you've only got to surround yourself sometimes with physique athletes bodybuilders uh, fitness models you know these people when you talk to them and I've got some great friends in this industry you know they're all motivated they're all inspirational in their own way they all stay in shape but they've learned these skills over a lifetime and they've made the mistakes, but they've learned from the mistakes. And it's these inspirational things that they're trying to teach to you that are so, so important when it comes to fat loss and muscle building. You can you can have a fat loss plan, a nutritional plan that's perfect. You can have a mu muscle building, the most anabolically, perfectly designed program um, for you. And you'll not see the results from it because you're not able to psychologically stay consistent with, with, the, with what's being required of you. So... Is psychology important when it comes down to fat loss and muscle building? Massively. If you're not in the right place, you will not stick to it. You know, so people email me all the time, you know, what's the best plan for fat loss? What's the best plan for putting on muscle? And with the access to social media nowadays, all I've got to do is just go on their Facebook page and see how they live their life. It tells me within two minutes that this person won't be successful. Guarantee you. Guarantee, and even the the, the the tweets people put out, you know, where they, I can tell where somebody's mind is simply by the posts they put out on a day to day basis. And the thing is, they don't actually realise that they're doing it. They don't realise the posts that they're making and the conflicting information that they're talking about. So they're, they're they're putting posts out saying, "I'm off to the gym. I'm going to kill it with legs. I'm going to kill it with upper body. I've got cardio today. I'm going to kill it." And then later on in the evening, they're like, "Oh, I had a hard day. I feel tired. You know, I'm not very motivated today." So remember, everything you put out is a reflection of how you're actually living your life. So go through your Facebook page, have a little look at the sort of information that you're sharing with your you know your friends on social media. 
And it will give you a pretty good indication of whether or not you're in the right place psychologically. Because if it's very conflicting, I can guarantee you won't be successful. So don't underestimate fat, um, psychology when it comes to fat loss. Um, learn about you. Learn how to be the authentic you, the real you. Learn not to have to live off motivational videos 24-7. Because the, the, when you have to live off these videos, you're not living according to you, your own beliefs and values. You're being kept on the crest of a wave by somebody else, which isn't real. The, me, the moment I think somebody's being successful psychologically wise is when them themselves and the things that they do on a on a day to day basis are the thing that actually keeps them motivated. So be your own motivation. Don't rely on somebody else to be your motivation, and don't underestimate psychology of fat loss. Um, and look more into yourself alongside the nutrition, the training that you're doing to enhance your physique. Good luck.